micrometer screw gauge. It is used to measure the thickness or diameter of a small object. Ia digunakan untuk mengukur ketebalan atau diameter satu-satu objek yang kecil seperti uh, ketebalan dawai ataupun kertas. Okay. Uh, the smallest reading is 0.001 cm, 0.01 mm. It is more accurate than the vernier caliper and ruler. As you know, vernier caliper has reading of 0.01 cm or 0.1 mm. The smallest reading for ruler is 0.1 cm or 1 mm. So, you can see that it is more accurate than both vernier caliper and ruler. So, I show you back the vernier calipers. Okay, it has a smallest reading of uh, stated here. Alright, so let us see the part of um, micrometer screw gauge. Okay, this is the part of micrometer screw gauge, uh, anvil and spindle, okay, to hold for uh, the object that you want to measure, okay, main scale and vernier scale. So, I enlarge there, main scale and vernier scale, right. Uh, what we will read is here, uh, as you can see down here is the reading that you should take okay what is okay let us see how to uh, read a micrometer screw gauge okay let us see how to take a reading of a micrometer screw gauge the first step is you must read and record the reading of the main scale where is the main scale here okay here is the main scale Okay, how to read it? Okay, look here. 1, 0. So, this is 1. I change the color. Okay. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Lower here, if it's fall in the lower scale, you put it at 0. Okay, so 0 0.5. All right. And 1.5 here, 1.5, this one is 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, and so on. Alright, so here in this uh, question, it falls on, um, okay, it falls on 7.5, right. Okay, so the main scale here, main scale for this reading is 7.5 okay how about the uh, okay that is the first step lah, all right so next step is read and record uh, the reading of the vernier scale where is the vernier scale vernier scale is here okay how to read it you find where is uh, the both scale is uh, coincides mean uh, okay here yeah. okay coincide means this bersambung lah dari sini ke sini kan alright the falls on this wall here so 30, 35 here here is 35 36 37 and 38 alright okay the next uh, step is multiply the reading okay with 0 0.01 Okay, you got here is 38. So, you multiply with 0 0.01. So, you will get a 0 0.38, right? So, the vernier, okay, ver, sorry, okay, uh, right, 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 again, vernier scale here, okay, <laughs> Okay, uh, sorry for, okay, for this key here is uh, 0 0.38. So the reading here, what should we do is the final step, okay, is 
you must add the result, okay, add lah, the main scale and the vernier scale. So, the answer is 7.5 plus 0.38, the answer is 7.88. Uh, is it, uh, what is the unit? Okay, it is mm. Okay, that is the answer. Let us see another four examples so that you can understand well this uh, part, right? Okay, let us see number one. Here is number one. What you should do is find the Mean scale, okay, 5 and then 5.5. So here, can you see it? Okay, 6, right? So 6.0. Okay, the vernier scale is here. Okay, it's fall directly on 30. So easy. It just, you need to times with 0 0.01. The answer is 0 0.30. So the reading is 6.30 M. And so that is the final answer for number one. Okay, number two. Okay, number two here. All right, number two. Okay, what what is the main scale here? One, two, three. So three point five, right? Okay, so three point five. Vernier scale here. Okay, five, six. Okay, that is six. So times with 0 0.01 equals to 0 0.06. So plus 0 0.06, the answer is 3.56 mm. Okay, number two, settle. Alright, how about number three? Okay, here is number three. Okay, number three, let's find the mean scale. Okay, mean scale, one, two, three, and three point so the same as number two but uh, the vernier scale falls on another scale here 45 okay 46 all right so 46 times 0 0.01 equals to 0 0.46 okay plus 0 0.46 so the answer is 3.96 M, M. Okay, number three. Okay, and the final example, number four. What is the main key? One, two, three. Okay, three. So, 3.0 plus the, yeah, when you scale, okay, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or you can, just did up from here lah. Okay, 10. So, this is 9. So, 9 times 0 0.01. Okay, so, here, vernier scale is 0 0.09. Then, the answer here, you just write 0 0.09. So, the reading is 3.09 millimeter. Okay, finish all the example. Okay, let us see some exercise. Uh, so, you, uh, I give you time to click pause, okay, for this video and try to answer it by yourself. Okay, I give you uh, how many minutes you want, just do it. And then, afterward, you play again and let us check the answer. Okay? All right. So, you have started playing again, hopefully, the uh, video. So, the answer is here. Okay, check all the answer. Is it correct or not? Okay, if you got it right, okay, congratulations. If not, uh, you are welcome to ask me anything that I, I can help you. Okay, just ask me whether in the comment or private message for my student okay uh, I will always happy to help okay before we uh, end this video okay just in knowing micrometer screw gauge all right uh, I want to show to you the new invention of a micrometer screw gauge which is 
uh, digital micrometer screw gauge. So this um, this instrument will give more accurate and um, a precise measurement uh, to be taken. Okay. However, you you still need to know how to read the micrometer screw gauge. Uh, the old one, not the uh, digital one. Digital, just click on the on off and see the answer. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, hopefully that you know how to read micrometer screw gauge and what is the function of micrometer screw gauge. Or uh, in Malay, we call it uh, tolok screw micrometer. Okay, uh, till you meet again. Assalamualaikum. Bye.